And the next category is Crime News Report slash Series. And the nominees are... Serial Killer on the Loose, WBBM. Wisconsin's Most Wanted, WITI. Marlon Ochoa's Case, WGBO. Jesse Smullett, Deceiving Chicago, WBBM. One Night, Two OWIs, WITI. Cronicas de un Ex Narco, WGBO. $400 bond for rape, the judge, clerk, and suspect, WBBM. And the Emmy goes to... We have two winners. Marlon Ocho's case, WGBO, and $400 bond for rape, the judge, clerk, and suspect, WBBM. Los restos descubiertos en una casa en el barrio de Scottsdale corresponden a Marlon Ochoa. La joven embarazada reportada desaparecida. La causa de muerte, estrangulamiento. Ay, que yo no sé, yo no sé. ¿Por qué esas personas, esas personas tan malas hicieron esto? How did this man, Ernell Johnson, get out for $400 cash? It's rare that a, a man gets out on bond who's accused of raping a uh, woman. Again, uh, that's just an uh, accusation. For you. Not just accusations, criminal charges, including seven counts of aggravated criminal sexual assault of a handicapped person. So, Burnell Johnson, we got this tip uh, that a man who drove a pace bus had, had raped his handicapped passenger, and a 40 year old woman with the IQ of likely someone who was a child. And I went to the courtroom one day figuring, how could this possibly be, this heinous accusation? And he was there with his sister. And everyone was talking to his sister. I was like, gosh, who is his sister? And I found out her name and then found out she worked at the court previously and then found out she clerked for the judge who gave the $400 bond. And then I found in the deep within the transcripts a name, and the judge asked her, how much can you afford to get your brother out? And it's such an egregious affront to justice. And we did a follow-up on it, and we got a judge to say this shouldn't happen, this isn't how things should work. And nothing ever happened to the judge, uh, much like what happens in Cook County. Um, but we gave voice to, in this case, the ultimate voiceless victim, and thank you. Um, what a special award on a very special day. Marlene Ochoa would have turned 20 today. Um, if this wouldn't have been possible with the, without this whole team that is here, it was a team effort. We wanted to bring justice for her and her family. Um, and I hope we did some sort of justice. We worked day and night trying to listen. We listened to her family. We wanted answers, and I think we made it clear that we were behind her and her family. And this is for her. We're um, hoping that we did some sort of justice, and I am so proud of everyone that is up here. We worked restless. It was a day and night just trying to find out the answers to a horrible crime that I think marked us all on a very personal level. Um, so this award really, really means a lot. And thank you everyone for the support and the hard work. Um, this couldn't be done without any one of us.